Excuse me, cat. Excuse me. Excuse me. May I ask you a question while you're here? Why are you here on the bed? Why are you here on the bed? I hate when this cat gives me the silent treatment, people. I hate it. So what is going on, Mentem family? I hope you guys are having an awesome day here. Um, you guys have just read the title of today's video, and this is something really that I did not even realize until just recently that actually happened in South Florida. And with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and just jump right into it, you guys, since I don't want to keep any of y'all waiting. So, I um, believe it or not, you guys, just a couple days ago, I was just looking up on YouTube, seeing all sorts of other reptile uh, pet tubers, you know, educators, kind of just like me out there on the internet. And I came across this one particular video that actually showed um, a professional alligator trapper actually catching what it did appear to be a specific species of a caiman. Yeah. What? Uh, and yeah, I'm not making this up, you guys. This literally was a, a legit caiman. Now, if you guys don't know what a caiman is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually just post this picture right in front of my face here so you guys can read what exactly a caiman is, which it is a type of crocodilian. And there are actually several different species of caiman which all originate in South America and parts of Central America too. And apparently, these this specific species of caiman obviously Actually, I should clarify this. No species of caiman is native here to the United States. None, including South Florida. And to hear this actually happen, it, it was certainly really shocked me, you guys, because with so many different invasive creatures down in South Florida, a lot of people think about the Burmese pythons that are thriving in the Everglades, but some people don't realize this. There are multiple different species of animals that are not native to Florida and are invasive down there. Whether if it's like a specific type of mammal, some type of amphibians, or birds, or even some type of some exotic fish down in South Florida as well. And this particular species of reptile, I have never seen this before. And this really caught me off guard. So I'm going to go ahead and play this clip, you guys, um, that was filmed actually by Paul Bedard, by the way, who used to be um, on the Animal Planet Show Gator Boy. So let's roll that footage, you guys, of him catching this caiman. Get up here. No, I'm gonna get you. All right, well, I don't get too excited about stuff, but uh, this is really cool. <laughs> got this, <laughs> we got this beautiful little caiman. Um, um, so this is super cool. I'm excited about this. He's super gnarly, he's not a nice boy, but he is beautiful. So cool. I've caught two caiman this year already. And this is the third. But this is not a this is not a spectacled caiman, which is uh, an invasive species down here. This is actually a dwarf caiman. Never would I think I would catch one of these guys in Florida. So you guys can clearly see in this video clip with Paul, he obviously caught this little dwarf caiman that was hanging out in some canal in Parkland, Florida, where it's not supposed to be. And I completely 100% agree with Paul on this one, hands down, you guys, that either somebody intentionally dumped this caiman because they didn't want to take care of it anymore, or it, it, it was an escaped pet at some point. So, either of those options have to be the explanation right there. So, But I'm leaning towards that probably somebody dumped it, actually, because they didn't want to do, have anything to do with it anymore. So, um, with that being said, though, this is something that we need to address to the people out there that really don't really like these kind of animals. So people need to realize though is that these species of crocodilians, actually no crocodilian in the state of Florida is allowed to be kept as a pet. It is federally illegal and you could be facing easily at least a year behind bars if you are caught with one. So, And obviously this makes the reptile hobby look bad for as a bad example and a lot of people say that they really care about reptiles. They A lot of them do mean it but there are some out there that stop, don't really don't. So. But with that being said, y'all, let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments below. Do you guys think somebody intentionally dumped this caiman, or do you think it was an escaped pet? So, any of your guys' opinions in the comments down below, feel free to do that. So, But, um, honestly, I could give care less, to be honest with you, because to the pet owner that owned that caiman, 
you should have taken better precaution with it, man. Like, seriously. That being said, any of your guys' opinions in the comments down below, would I really wouldn't mind hearing from y'all. Now, obviously, Spectacle came in, like Paul said in, this, in that clip there, was really the more invasive species down there in Florida than what he just showed he caught. Now, obviously, like he said, this was definitely an escaped pet for sure. And to tell you the truth, um, whoever's pet that was, that was not smart to be irresponsible, whether if it was released intentionally or it escaped on its own, it's still, still unethical for what th the previous owner did. So, and obviously you guys, like I said early in the video, Florida has a lot of invasive species down there. It's not just caiman, you guys, there's obviously the Burmese pythons down there. There's actually some species of uh, monitor lizard down there in Florida. I think it's the Nile monitor, I think it is, which is starting to pop up in several parts of Florida. Obviously, there's green iguanas too that are very invasive down there too. But I'm not gonna list a whole bunch of stuff for you guys to name off that's invasive. So, with that being said, everyone, um, I just really don't know, like, like what are the chances of something that like that happening? And obviously. I mean, Paul has caught hundreds and hundreds of gators before, but this was um, definitely a first. So, but let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments below about Florida's um, invasive problem. So, with that being said, y'all, uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually see if I can get, finish up all my reptile work here because um, I'm getting behind on it. So, I need to get it done pronto. Hey, y'all, Ellie's up to something evil here. I don't know what she's up to, but she's giving me that naughty look. I don't know what she's thinking, but. I'm just glad I'm on the other side of this door here, y'all. So, yeah. Sorry, girl. You're not gonna, t you're not gonna kiss me on my hand tonight. Where are you going? Where are you going, huh? So what do I have to say about this incident that actually happened that really I've never been aware of before? So I guess what my final conclusion here is, y'all, is do not get an alligator or any species of crocodilian as a pet because it's just going to go horribly wrong, like literally probably at any moment, you know, because an animal like that it's a huge responsibility and some people don't realize this when they start out as tiny babies which they, that's because you know a lot of people think they want to get one because they're cute they're tiny but little do many people realize is that these animals are going to get big some can range from 8 to 12 feet long sometimes get up to 15 feet long and weigh at least a thousand pounds you guys so and it's a lot of work you go you know right and you're going to need like a huge huge pool for this animal you guys and you're going to have to find a good food source actually to keep your animal healthy you guys so and it costs money it's a lot of money so it with that being said in general just don't get a crocodilian as a pet you know because I even have a friend I'm actually I actually have a good friend of mine he used to own an alligator as a pet like 25 30 years ago and he realized that getting this alligator was not such a good idea and he decided to go ahead and I think like bring it to an animal like like sanctuary or something like that and since then he just realized yeah um this was a mis this was not a good idea because he was a big reptile lover just like i am you guys but now that i have actually done a lot of research and not learned a lot of knowledge from other reptile guys out there in the world i've obviously learned a valuable lesson and obviously i want to pass that information also on to the younger audience out there too so if you ever are thinking about getting an alligator as a pet you guys think twice on it because obviously 
there are consequences on it too because not also it also depends on where you live too because not every state is allowing anybody to have an alligator you can't own one in california i don't think you can own one in texas i don't think you can own one even in louisiana or florida but here since i'm in michigan i guess they allow it because michigan is a pretty cold climate for most of the year so i guess that makes sense but with that being said i'm just gonna go ahead and just end this video everybody so leave a comment you guys and tell me what your guys thoughts are about what just happened here and uh, leave a, make sure you guys smash that like button for me and may, feel free to subscribe too, you guys, and uh, turn on that notification bell. So with that said, I'm just going to go ahead and end this video, everybody. I'll catch y'all in the next one.